Get it, girl. <laughs> Our planes have free high-speed Wi-Fi, so check out the seatbelt card for instructions on how to access our Wi-Fi network. We'll be adjusting the main cabin lights for departure. If needed, there's a reading light above your seat. We're here to make sure you have a safe and comfortable flight. Thank you for the attention. We hope you enjoy the new experience. Good morning, guys. I completely forgot to start my vlog earlier, so I'm starting it now. Good morning, and look who it is, it's Khadijah. Do y'all remember Khadijah from my first mid trip? Yeah. We was a cute little ABC crew on a four day. Yeah, we're we still cute. We still cute, she's mid now y'all, she done upgraded her life. I don't want that life. <laughs> okay, bye y'all. So, y'all, I haven't vlogged in a while since Paris. This, this video, Paris will be up <laughs> before um, y'all see this, but I've just, I've been a little tired, so I've taken a few days off, like two weeks from vlogging, but I'm back, I'm back. So I started keto officially, finally. And um, this is like, what, day four? And it's not so bad. Like I really, really, I haven't struggled with the carbs at all. That's, you know, like I've been okay. No breads, no pastas, all that good stuff, but sweets are my weakness like I have a sweet tooth to kill I accidentally ate some M&Ms yesterday <laughs> but it's okay you know I'm working myself into this I couldn't decide if I wanted to start off immediately with the intermittent fasting and if y'all don't know all of this that I'm talking about just you know just go google the keto google the intermittent fasting it's basically where you eat for only a few hours a day and then you fast for like 16 hours a day but I was too scared to do that. One, you know, I don't want to be tired while working. Um, and they say, you know, when you first start keto, you do feel a little lethargic just because your body's adjusting to feeding off of energy from different sources and things like that. So I didn't want to start off with that. So I'm just doing like regular, I guess they call it lazy keto. Um, I've just ordered food from this website called Keto Fridge. So it should be here Tuesday and as of right now I don't have any trips for after that but hopefully I'll pick up like a four day and I'll take that food with me and you know just get more used to eating you know high fats and low carbs and a little bit of protein here and there and then I'm gonna go full in I can't wait but right now on all these flights we got all this food um, I was in a rush this morning so I had a little bit of bacon I had a boiled egg and on the flight we have a cheese plate so we can eat cheese on keto so i'm eating some cheese um and i got sparkling water i usually have like maybe one sparkling water a day like a flavored one and then the rest of the day i'll just drink um Anyways, I usually have one sparkling water and then the rest of the day have like just regular bottled water. And then I'm gonna try to start doing the bulletproof coffee. So I know I say all the time that I don't drink coffee because I don't, but uh, it's gonna be start, it's necessary now because in the morning, if I'm gonna do the intermittent fasting, you don't eat till like 12, one o'clock. I need something to, to kind of get me through that period of time. So I'm excited about this. I'm rambling about it now. I'm gonna stop talking about it. Um, we're on our way to San Diego. I haven't had a San Diego layover in a while, so I'm excited about this. I'm just ready to get there. I know San Diego is my favorite mid layover, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Let's go! Y'all want to hear the vlog? Hi. Hi. Say hi to the crew! Hello. Hello. You never got a name. Never got a name. My, my Joe. Yeah, three trips together now. <laughs> and the pilots. Those are the pilots. We just made it to San Diego. <laughs> um, I think I need a mini nap. Oh, can I have one of those? Oh, they're the menta. Oh, those the bubble gum flavor though. Can I chew this? Can you chew bubble gum on keto? Yeah. It has total two grams of carbs. But what about the net carbs? Let me ask. Let me ask Siri. Got to the hotel, and they got keto stuff going on. Hello. How are you? 
I'm good. How are you? Good. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so this is Keto Mojo meter right here. Okay. And we're gonna test your glucose first. Okay. And let's give you a little prick. Come pick me. It won't even hurt. Let's turn your, uh, yep, the side. What's nice about doing it on the side here is it doesn't hurt as much. See, that was easy. We're gonna squeeze just a little bit. Okay, now we've got, okay. For, then I take the tip of the strip to your droplet of blood. Yeah. And then. This is what um, diabetics use, right? My dad has. Yes. 92, I don't know. that's not too bad. So what is this Good. supposed to be at? So your glucose, if you're in the 80s and 90s, you, you know, you're okay. If you start inching up in the high, in 90s over 100, that just, unless you've just eaten. So after you've eaten, okay. your glucose is naturally gonna, and that's okay, as long as it doesn't spike really high. Okay. Uh, 120 and above. Oh, okay, so we're not there. So now I'm gonna test your ketones. Yeah, that's what we wanna okay. know. Let's see if you're in ketosis. <laughs> well, you and well, it's for the conference, but you know what? Okay, I'll get you a tissue. Thank you. Yeah, just to see. And you're not, so it'll be interesting to see where you are. Did you want to do? Oh, girl, you just made it in ketosis. Ketones. What is ketones? So when you are in a state of nutritional ketosis, your liver is then metabolizing the dietary fat that you are eating or the fat that you have on your body for energy, and it splits it into beta hydroxybutyrate. Acetone and acetone. Those are like the three ketones. I kind of like think of them like a backing group, like the singers. You've got the big bass in the middle, he's beta hydroxybutyrate, and he represents 70% of the energy that is available to your body. Then the two ladies either side, acetoacetate and acetone, represent 15%. And so, really, um, the blood ketone, which is what we just measured with you, is what basically is what is the one that is used for all clinical trials. It's used by all of the doctors because it's the most accurate that you can possibly get mm -hmm. for showing in that respect. Okay. So that's why you do that. Awesome sauce. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, that's no, you're, you're most welcome. Okay, Thank you for stopping awesome. by and measuring it. Yeah. But it's a made it to my room guys like how random was that like obviously definitely not planned got to the hotel and they're having a low carb convention here so those are just two of the booths that i stopped by downstairs as y'all saw she pricked me i mean ketosis this was not supposed to be a, a video a vlog about keto but it's turning into one <laughs> hey it is what it is um i cannot wait to lose some weight like, I should have done this in January when I was really on my 30 for 30, which I'm still on my 30 for 30 because I'm still 30, okay? Like, I can still lose the weight during 32, like, whatever. Um, anyways, the view from my hotel is nice. I have, like, a, a back view. I'm too lazy to get up, but that's the patio, and then you can kind of see the streets and some buildings and stuff. It's not bad. It's a cute little city. So I think I might just lay here and chill for a moment. Um, Khadijah wants to go out and do some stuff. So, yeah, I'll probably give her a call and see if we can go play in San Diego, go somewhere I haven't been yet. We have a 31-hour layover, I believe, so we have a good amount of time. No, I'm lying. We have a 23-hour, <laughs> 24 hours. It's 23 hours and 55 minutes um, layover. I have a 31-hour layover in Vegas for my next trip. So, anyways, let's see what we can get into for the day. Hello, uh, people. I've woken up from a blessed nap, yes I have. And Khadija and I, where is she? Oh, Khadija. We're about to go get some food and we've come across these little scooters, which are just like the bikes. I don't know if y'all remember the last time I was here, we could rent the bikes on the road for like a dollar. They have these scooters now, I'm kind of into it. So let's try it out. Hi, hi. <laughs> Yeah, you just leave it and then you lock it. Right in progress. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it just goes like a go-kart. Okay, I can't really vlog in. You seen accidents? I look like you can't really help. Thing is though, I can't vlog and ride this, so talk to y'all later. Let me get out of her way before she crashed and killed me. It's not that bad. 
you get used to it, it's not that bad. Yeah. Get it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> We've given up. We got an Uber. First of all, this is hot outside. That was 18 minutes though. That was yeah, that was 18 was minutes of us riding on that thing. Yes. You know, one, Sweating. if we had sneakers on, it would probably have been easier. One. Because my feet are all lotioned up and greasy and I got it's slides on. Exactly. Yeah, she Same. got on sandals too. So, that was cute though. I'll do it again. That'll be cute for like a little boo thing date. <laughs> But it's not so hot. Yeah, yeah. The heat is real out here today. Khadija has brought me to some taffy place. Veganic? Oh, like vegan? It's like vegan, Nick? I don't know. I don't know. So the place is vegan. It's a vegan Thai food restaurant. So Khadija is a pescatarian. Mm -hmm. So she got um, fake chicken. <laughs> soy chicken. Soy, soy chicken, but it's not, it's not real chicken. And what kind of noodles? Drunk noodle. So, so spicy. Spicy uh, noodle. Spicy, spicy noodle. noodle. And I just got a salad to be on the safe side. Carrots are okay. They're a little higher in um, carbs, but whatever. We're going to eat them. And tofu. I might just try a little bit of it. They fried it. I don't know what kind of oil, though. And I'm not sure it's in this dressing. I mean, I'm gonna eat it because I'm hungry, but it's not really easy to eat out on keto. You don't know what people put in their food. Okay, guys, we're cruising and we found a liquor store. So, Boochcraft <laughs> is high alcohol kombucha. Yes. It's delicious, actually. It's really good and it's healthy. Just a little sample. Still within my drinking hours, mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only in California right now, they're trying to expand. So if you're in California, come look for this. It's really, really yeah. good. What flavors did you say? So, so we tried ginger lime rose hips and grapefruit hibiscus heather. Okay, the have, grapefruit was really good too. We have a grape flavor. We have grape, watermelon, flavor, watermelon. A turmeric flavor. Turmeric. And an apple flavor. An apple. And then some seasonal, some just random lovely. Mm. Okay, so if you like kombucha and you're looking for something with higher alcohol percentage, check this out. It's good. It's good, y'all. Next stop, Daddy's Hot Dogs. Because I'm still hungry. Ziggity's Hot Dogs. So I'm going to get the beast, but I'm not going to eat the bun. It has bacon, spinach, tomato, and mayo, which is all keto. So here is Daddy's Hot Dog. The beast. He's gonna go get me a fork and knife so I don't eat this Thank bread. Yeah, that looks delicious. I ate everything, not the bread. Good afternoon. It's 12:25 p.m. Um, our flight is delayed. What? How many hours? One hour? One hour? But I was supposed to be two thirty. So two hours. Right? Two hours. So we had an extra little time at the hotel. I didn't do anything. I've been a bum lately. Yeah, and Joe, I never, yeah. hey. he gets to deadhead this morning, well, afternoon. He don't have to work no more. Legality issues and stuff, so. Are you guys waiting on anybody else? Two yeah. more. Two more, okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a new crew member, and Joe gets to sleep on the way back. I'm a little jealous, but that's okay. Okay, we've made it to the airport, and I am at Padoba Mexican Grill. Probably just gonna get a burrito bowl without like any rice, of course. Uh, yeah, cause I'm hungry and uh, yeah, we still have quite a while to our flight leaves. Like, quite a while meaning like an hour. <laughs> All right, just landed back to New York. Oh, I love ones. Um, <laughs> crazy turbulent flight pretty much one. the entire time. I eat them every day. <laughs> it sends you a notification. I hate being stared at like a piece of meat, y'all. Um, anyway, flight was crazy turbulent. Like, I think we may have had, I think we might have had a, like an hour total of smooth air. So I'm just tired. Like it just wore me out. But we're back. It was a good trip. We got back after. So the shuttle comes once every hour, and then the last hour it comes like like an hour and thirty minutes later. So. Me and Joe, 
and first officer and cute little Anna. <laughs> We're gonna split, what's that for? Oh, thanks. We're gonna split the shuttle, I mean split an Uber and get back to Q. So anyways, y'all, that's gonna be the end of this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed. But you know what, I may just do a continuation um, for tomorrow. Tomorrow night I'm working the pink eye to Vegas and I have that long lay over there, so. <laughs> If this yeah, is the end, like, see y'all next time. Sure. Thanks yeah, for watching. Make sure yeah, you like, yeah, sure. subscribe, and share. But if not, there, I'll see y'all right, later. Guys. Hey, so I decided to go ahead and extend the vlog to this Vegas trip. So it is 7.43 p.m. My report isn't until 8.06, but I'm here early. Didn't really have nothing to do, so I'm, just, I'm on the aircraft right now. The cleaners are on, cleaning up from the last trip. And then, um, I don't know. Um, and then, um, yeah. So, I'm the only one on right now as far as crew. Pilots aren't here. The rest of the flight in flight crew isn't here either. Um, I have a long Vegas layover. And honestly, I was trying to drop this trip because this long Vegas layover, it, it just exhausts me out because I usually don't do anything when I'm there because it's so, so, so hot in Vegas. You know, I'm not going to be walking up and down the strip. All you do is spend unnecessary money in Vegas. Um, I don't really need to go out and eat because y'all know I'm keto strong now. <laughs> so I was really trying to drop it to get something with a shorter layover, but I couldn't find anything. So, what I'll probably end up doing majority of the time is it's time for me to renew my real estate license. Like, literally, like, in two days I'm supposed to be done with that. And I've just been slacking. So majority of the time, I'll probably just spend doing my online classes to renew my real estate license, which I need to call and get an extension for that. Um, and then I also need to do my quarterly um, distant learning, I think, QDLs for work. We had every quarter they send out little online quizzes and things that we have to do just you know to keep us updated on what's going on and refresh our memory on stuff and all of that good stuff so I have those due also on the 31st so yeah we'll see what I get into you just never know sometimes the vlogs get interesting without without my intentions so anyways let's go <sighs> my favorite thing to do Wait for the shuttle. So it was a short flight, but our taxi times were god awful long. Out of JFK, it was like a 70 minute taxi. And when we landed, it was like a 20 minute taxi. So, yeah. It's now 1 30 a.m. Vegas time. And our shuttle has just arrived. Look at that. I'm ready to go to bed, y'all. Y'all already know. Made it to the hotel, guys. And y'all getting like a horrible view of my double chin. <laughs> uh, goodness gracious. That was a long flight. Like, what makes a flight long, at least for me, is the sitting part. 70 minutes of sitting, well, taxiing, when we left the gate. And then like another 20 minutes when we arrived, because there was another plane at our gate here in Vegas so we had to wait for that plane to leave and us to pull in blah 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 um I've already told my crew don't even call me I am being a slam clicker this layover we don't leave until well now tomorrow morning um we our we got in a little later. We were supposed to get in before Monday happened. We were supposed to get in around 11.30 p.m. But as y'all can tell, it's 1.50 a.m. now. But yeah, we have all of today. Our report isn't until tomorrow at 9.49 a.m. It's the long 30 whatever layover. Um, and I just got things to do. So we'll see. I might hit the gym tomorrow. We'll see if I change my mind when I wake up in the morning. Until then, good night. Good morning, lovely people. It is, did I say one? One, it's not one. Is it one? Oh my God. Oh no, 11. <laughs> I was gonna say, what happened to the time? It's 11 something AM. I'm up and 
having some breakfast. Um, well, really lunch. It's just some steak. Um, and doing some QDLs. So, that's a QDL. I have about three more of these to do to complete for my quarterly distant learning. Quarterly distant learnings for work. This one is about smoke and fumes on the aircraft. So they're just refreshers, you know, of what to do in certain situations and things like that. Um, yeah, I have no energy to get out of the bed. I will definitely go to the gym a little later. Um, but I think that's about it. It's hot outside. It was, oh my gosh, y'all. It was like 95 degrees at 1 a.m. this morning in Vegas. The Vegas heat does not play and I'm just not here to play with it either. So <laughs> I do think I'm just really, like I said, going to be a slam clicker for this layover. And yeah, so we'll chat later. Okay, update. It is now 2.34. Still in bed. Finished the QDLs for the airline near and dear to my heart. Finished one I finished one class for one of the courses for real estate and I'm gonna take a little break from that and I need to find some properties for a client that is looking to move so yeah I, ju I just knew this day was gonna exist of laying in the bed being on the computer and not doing anything else but hey that's okay too good morning good people can y'all believe this is my first time leaving that hotel room since I checked in yesterday morning at 1.50 a.m.? It is now like 7 a.m. So how many hours is that? 12? <clears throat> like, wait, no, heck no, 24? What am I thinking? 24 plus like another 7, like almost 30 hours of me being in that room. I can't believe I did that. I was just bumming it out, bumming it out. Well, I got a lot of stuff done, so that's good. But it's not even in my character to stay in the hotel room that long, and I did it. Um, but now I'm up, about to go to the gym. I woke up and I was like, okay, Alexia, it's time to get out of your funk. It's been, it's a new month. I haven't worked out all July. Well, not all, but majority of July. I didn't do anything as far as working out. So I was like, okay, it's a new month. Let's get it done. Looked at my watch and it's still July. I was like, oh girl, let me make him in the bed. <laughs> but that's just lazy, right? So I'm gonna go to the gym anyway, so let's go. All right, I'm back from the gym. Glad I went, but my body hurts. Like, geez, I feel like I get out of shape so quickly. Just, you know, a few weeks of not working out and it's like I've never worked out ever in my life. But um, I did my seven minute workout app and then I did intervals on the treadmill for about 25 minutes. Um, and yeah, that was it. So now I got free breakfast from the hotel. I'm about to eat keto friendly. Spinach, eggs and cheddar and sausage. There wasn't any um, avocado or anything like that. So this is it. And I have my teeny skinny tea this morning, no sweetener. Because I don't have any keto approved sweetener, no Truvia, no Stevia, none of that. So that's it for this morning and my water. All right, everybody, we are aboard the aircraft. Um, cleaners are on, as y'all can probably hear the vacuum going, waiting for catering to um, cater up front so I can check everything and we can head on home to New York City, Vegas to New York today. A nice short flight time of four hours and 30 something minutes. And yes, that is what I consider short. It ain't six and a half hours, seven hours. So hallelujah. Anyways, let's go. So our shuttle driver, I hope y'all can hear me because y'all know these airplanes are always loud. So I'm gonna project my voice, but our shuttle driver this morning was telling us how he applied for the in-flight crew member position here at the airline that's very near and dear to my heart and um, he didn't make it past the assessment, right? So he was asking, you know, tips on how to pass that, blah, blah, blah. And then he also mentioned that Southwest was, has opened up their application for bilingual flight attendants. So if you're bilingual, and I'm assuming Spanish because I don't think they go to any other, um, any other speaking countries like that. So I'm pretty sure it's Spanish and English that they're looking for. Um, go ahead and apply to Southwest. But 
he also went ahead and told us that he actually had made it to training with spirit i'm not sure how long ago it was but he made it to training with spirit for a flight attendant and he um he failed like one of his last tests two days before graduation and you know it was just so nice to talk to him his spirits were still high you know he's still trying and i mean it just you know it just shows and proves that even though you don't make it through one door you may think that was your only opportunity it's definitely not you just got to keep pushing keep trying just like he is so if you're watching these vlogs and you're looking for motivation and you've been applying and applying and applying and you've made it to a training and you didn't pass it's not the end of the world you know it's just not the end of the world that's probably just not what god had planned for you so keep trying keep practicing you will get that job but i just thought it was just so amazing that he told us that you know you don't have to tell us your business he didn't have to tell us that he felt out he could lie but he told the truth and he was just like you know driving you guys around and pick me all up just constantly motivate me to keep pushing to what I want to do so I just wanted to give y'all that little motivation here anyways let me go back to work all right guys the trip is over it wasn't a bad flight you know my last few Vegas flights had been a little crazy this one wasn't so bad they they were needy but that's okay short flight time got here but anyways I'm headed home my keto delivery that I ordered my um, keto fridge.com is here Fawn texted me was like your food's here so I'm so excited to get home and dig into that um, but anyways as usual until next time make sure you subscribe like and share bye